All right, hello everyone. My name's Alex, and uh, today we're going to be building a um, real-time store using uh, RPCs and records with DeepStream Hub. So um, I've just got a little example here of what we're going to be building. Uh, as you can see, we have a list of items um, that have been listed and their prices. Uh, we have a form to submit new items and we also have a little form to log in. Uh, so we're also really going to be showing off authentication in DeepStream Hub and uh, how to deal with some of the problems associated with that. Um, so currently we're not logged in um, but we still have a DeepStream session open. So. Uh, you'd expect that users who aren't authenticated shouldn't be able to list new items. So let's go ahead and try and add a new item. Uh, we'll call it book for 23 euros and um, we'll just say it's a fine book. Now when we submit this, uh, we get an error saying that we're not signed in, which is great. So what we want to do is, uh, I've already made an account called alexattest.com so we'll go ahead and log in with that and now that we're logged in we can create this book and it shows up in our list of items all right so now uh, let's dive in and see how to build this sort of thing uh, we're going to have a back-end process um, that's going to be responding to these RPC calls and also a front-end component which uh, will display the list and uh, accept user input and all that sort of thing. Uh, so here I have the basic scaffold of our backend process. Uh, all we're doing is requiring the DeepStream uh, Java, JavaScript SDK and uh, we already have our API key and app URL. Um, uh, so we get the client and then we log in and the first thing we do when we log in is we call this provide endpoints function. Uh, so what this is going to do is just register the RPC endpoints uh, for functionality in our app. So the first one is going to be uh, the list item, um, the list item endpoint. So we say list item and then we'll call the list item function. And we also want to call. We also want to register a create user function, uh, and this will just create new users in our application. So we say create user, and then we just call our create user function. Uh, after this, we need to um, initially set up our data. Now I just have um, an array of items here but this would usually be like a database call or something to, um, to, fetch, to fetch data. Um, so we're just going to call the setup items fun function and go from there. Uh, all this is going to do is add these items here to a list and uh, create records for each of them so that we can access them on the front end with the client there. So we say li our list um, is equal to client.record.get list and we're going to call that list items and then uh, we'll iterate over our item array and for each one we're going to create a record and add it to our list so it looks a little bit like this And uh, it's good practice to name your records uh, prefixed by the list they're in. So these are all going to be in the items list. So we'll prefix them by items. And the record name will just be uh, items slash item dot name. So uh, the mouse is going to be items slash mouse. And then we want to uh, initialize the data on that to be the um, to be the data of the item and then finally we want to say list.add entry uh, 
and that's going to be the same as before items slash item dot name cool cool so now we want to fill out the um, two functions we registered as RPCs list item and create user so we'll do list item first because it's quite similar to the initial setup uh, function we did. Uh, so what we need to do here is just get a reference to our list uh, the same way we did before. Um, that's going to be called items. And then uh, when whenever a user creates an item they're going to call the RPC and the data object is going to have uh, all the necessary um, information we need. So we can go ahead and create a record for that. Um, and again, it's going to be called, we prefix it with items. And uh, the name of it was just going to be the name. Okay. From here, uh, we just need to wait for the uh, ready event. So we have a utility method called when ready. And when that happens, uh, we set the data and we also add it to our list. Um, again, items slash name and finally because this is, this is uh, an RPC we need to uh, send the response and we'll just send null uh, because there's no errors. While we're here we'll also fill out the create user uh, function. Just like the list item this is uh, going to be an RPC so we have a data object and a response object. Um, on the front end we're going to be, there's a form where users can sign up and they enter an email and password. So the data object is just going to have those two properties, email and password. Um, so to create a new user in DeepStream Hub, uh, we have an HTTP API um, where you can post uh, the, uh, the credentials of, the, yeah, the credentials of a user and um, they'll be created. So we're using Needle, which is just uh, a wrapper around the HTTP API, the HTTP module in Node, sorry. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll say needle.post and then uh, the API URL is as follows. We also need to pass in the API key we got earlier. And obviously the data we're passing in is the data from the RPC. And then we have uh, a callback. Inside this callback, uh, we just want to check if there was any errors. Um, if there wasn't, and uh, the status code of the response was 201, which is what our API returns. Um, we can say that the user was created successfully and we can um, finish the RPC. Uh, if there were any errors, we'll just have to do a response.error um, with a nice message saying unable to create a user. And that's the uh, back end process done. Now we'll uh, take a look at the front end and, and get that working.